Alright guys, so I'm back here. So I've had some time to play with the Air Force DSS. I've been using it for the past few weeks, and now I'm ready to give you my opinion on them. Alright, so the first thing I want to get into, uh, you know, you can just notice this right away, is the size of this thing. Because the Air Force DSS is honestly tiny. I mean, if you stack this side by side with the Astro Mix Amp, you can just see the size comparison and how it basically dwarfs as far as size goes. So if you are looking for a travel friendly uh, unit, this is, you know, very pocketable. So that is one thing to consider. As far as build quality, I mean, it is very light. Um, doesn't feel like it's going to be the strongest thing in the world if I, I could probably crush it. So be careful with it. Uh, while the Mixam, you know, feels a little bit more sturdy and hefty and has some good weight to it. But uh, yeah, so just size wise, just check that out. The other thing I wanted to mention about the Air Force DSS that is a nice plus over the Astro Mixamp is just the inclusion of everything that you get in it. Uh, two key parts would be one of the things being the 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable, which allows you to hook up your iPod or MP3 player up to your Air Force DSS for music listening while gaming, and then an optical cable. While Astro charges separate for the optical cable, uh, and they don't include the 3.5 millimeter cable in their package. So while these units have the same features as far as incorporating MP3 players and uh, the virtual 5.1 surround sound, Turtle Beach uh, includes the necessary cables to make that happen, which is really nice. So the first thing I wanted to mention is the performance for the actual virtual surround sound. In gaming, this will provide you the same immersive virtual surround sound as the Astro Mixamp, the Triton AX720's decoder box, the Turtle Beach X41 decoder box and you know the different virtual surround sound processors out there. Uh, one of the things you might notice is that you know Turtle Beach advertises this as a 7.1 decoder box. Um, as I've gone over this in other videos with like the Turtle Beach X41, it's actually not true virtual 7.1 surround sound. It's more like a virtual virtual 7.1 surround sound. Uh, and there's a little bit more info in the description pane on that. But, uh, so as far as actually getting the immersive surround sound feel with this, you're going to get the same performance as the other products, but you're going to be spending a little bit less money. So, when you have all the products that perform the same, you pretty much are just relying on the different features that come with them. So, what exactly are the features that the Air Force DSS has? Well, I could just go over them right now with you just to kind of go all around it, because each little side has its own kind of features. Alright, so looking at the back, you have the USB, the mini USB uh, port for the power. You have the optical in port for the actual uh, audio signal to be sent to this. And then you also have these two things right here. Now, at like the Astro Mixamp, you have the ability to hook up an MP3 player or like an iPod to this and mix it in with the game's audio. So, you can just plug your iPod using a, the included 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable. You hook it up to there, and you can actually control the level of the volume with this knob right here. So you can have it set to the volume that you'd like when gaming. Now if we go to this side, you can see the bass boost. Now, this is exactly how it sounds. You have a little dial here that, you know, it'll increase or decrease the amount of bass. Now, how much does this actually work? Well, it kind of just, you know, exemplifies what's already there in a headset or headphone. So don't expect if you have a pair of Audio-Technica 8700s for them suddenly to be, you know, head thumpers. But uh, it does add some bass presence to your music and gaming. Uh, it's just like, no, you know, not near like the effectiveness of, let's say, like a subwoofer dial. Because nothing's going to beat that. But it is a very handy feature depending on the kind of headset or headphone that you use. I really like that. Alrighty, looking at the top here, you have the different kind of Dolby technologies that you'll use. So you have the different LED indicators showing what's on. So the first thing you see right here is the digital in. So basically when this thing is lit up, uh, it just basically means that you have your optical signal coming from your system or PC. So now for these two right here, you have Dolby Pro Logic 2 and you have uh, Dolby Headphone. So what these are used for is, this is the actual virtual 5.1 surround, or the virtual 7.1 surround, whatever you want to call it, and this is made for stereo. I don't really get that when you have the optical input, because it has no RCA input, like some of the other decoders out there, but, um, you know, it's there if you want it to be there. And then you have the Dolby Bypass switch, which basically switches it up. 
Now looking on this side, you have the power button, so nothing that special right there. It just turns it on and off. And now here's the front. So the first thing you might notice is on the left side, you have a USB port. So while this decoder is powered by USB, it's also a throughput for USB. So if you have a headset like the Turtle Beach X11, the PX21, you know, things like that, you can power them through this without wasting another USB port of your computer or system. So here you have the headphone port and the volume dial. So the biggest difference between the Astro Mix Amp and the Air Force DSS is the compatibility with other headsets. The Astro Mix Amp comes with an adapter that lets you use any stereo PC headset on it and use game and voice balancing. The Air Force DSS is another story. Like I said, it only has a headphone out port, so it basically turn so it's basically a replacement of your TV's headphone out port, but it gives you the virtual surround sound. So what are you going to do if you have a PC headset? The only thing you can really do here to make a PC headset usable with the DSS is use a SteelSeries Xbox 360 adapter. So basically what you would do is you would plug the 3.5mm jack into the port of the DSS and then plug this end into your controller and then plug your PC headset here. So with this you have usability on your headset but you still lack the uh, game and chat balancing. So what are we going to do here? Well, SteelSeries has made a couple of announcements that they're actually coming out with a new audio mixer. This is basically an upgrade to the 360 adapter that they're currently selling for $15. Now, if you were to have this $15 adapter and the $90 DSS, you would have $105, which is cheaper than the $130 Astro Mix Amp. But you are lacking that game and voice balancing. Now, SteelSeries has the potential to make or break this product right here because it depends on SteelSeries audio mixers pricing whether or not it would be a good marriage or not with the DSS because if it's a $50 product if you're having a $50 product with a $90 product you're actually spending more than the Astro Mix Amp when it's not going to provide you know much more in terms of features it provides almost the same number of features right now if you were to have the audio mixer with it but you wouldn't want to spend more for that. But if SteelSeries uh, audio mixer was to be, you know, around the fifteen to twenty dollar mark, then it would cut costs enough where if you bought the pair together, it would still amount to less than the mix amp to make it worth it. Because even if it gets, you know, uh, thirty, say like thirty to forty dollars, it would be the same price. You, you know, it's kind of more of a messy setup than just using the mix amp. You might as well go for it if it's the same price or even cheaper at that point. So I guess the best thing that we can do is kind of wait for the upcoming weeks to see what the pricing is going to be on the SteelSeries audio mixer, which could be the DSS saving grace, or it could just lead to the setup that will give this the same features as the Astro Mix Amp, but for a pricier cost. Maybe Turtle Beach will be coming out with their own version of the audio mixer. Uh, I'm not really sure whether they're going to be doing that, but I know that f they're right now they're basically just focusing this product towards their Ear 4 series. So my final thoughts are this, if you know you have the budget in mind and you already have a headset like the X11 or the PX21 or the Z2 or you know some of the more popular headsets that are out there that you know are the more budget friendly, then this would be a great option to go with to make your headset into a virtual surround sound headset because it's optimized for it with a USB port and everything and you might as well save some money because you aren't going to be using some of the features on the Astro Mix Amp if you have the features already present in the headset like the Game & Chat balancing. Now if you have a PC headset like the Sennheiser PC 350s or even the Turtle Beach HPX's it might be a better idea to go with the Astro Mix Amp since it allows the Game & Chat balancing. But like I said I would keep an eye out on SteelSeries to see what their next product's going to be and what price it's going to be because like I said the pricing of that product is going to make or break this product for use with your PC headset. Alrighty so that'll do it for my unboxing and review of the Ear Force DSS. If you guys enjoyed this video as always please comment it, like it, and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you aren't following me on Twitter already follow me at MLG Steggy where I'll be posting updates on my unboxings, reviews, and other happenings with MLG. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.